Welcome. This video is part of our free course, How to Create a Platform Like Shopify, Using WordPress and WooCommerce. You'll easily create a beautiful homepage, a pricing page for your plans, and a custom login page. Also, you'll create a multi-site platform with a customized dashboard for users to manage their stores from it. You'll create it without any programming needed. Follow the link in the description to take the course. The previous video was about adding the view user site and logout buttons to the front-end dashboard menu. In this video, we'll finish the configuration of our front-end dashboard menu. First, we'll add icons to the menu items, using the WP Menu Icon plugin. Go to Appearance. Menus. On the dashboard menu, you can select the set of icons you'll use. We recommend the Themify icons. Now just add the icons one by one. You can search for specific keywords to find the right icon for each menu item. Make sure you add an icon to all the elements of your dashboard menu. Once done, it's time to configure the menu architecture. We do this by creating the sub-items on the menu. Just draw the items to the position you want. For example, the categories, attributes, and tags can be sub-items to the products. You can do the same with all the pages that have to do with configurations. Once you add the icons and edit the architecture, save the changes. Now, we'll move the menu item from the right to the left. You may remember that we moved it, in order to see the WP Frontend Admin's Quick Settings panel. In the Customizer, open the Header's General Options. Go to Position, and select Left. This is how our dashboard looks. How does yours look like? In the next video, we'll learn how to restrict features based on the user plan, and how to create an upgrade plan to invite users to buy a higher plan.